Hello guys, so we're still on renal physiology. I will be going through the loop of Henley to look at a mechanism known as the countercurrent mechanism. We'll be looking at what it is, how it works, and its importance to the body. Now, what is countercurrent mechanism? Well, it is a system in the kidney that concentrates urine and saves water. So, how does it work? Now, the loop of Henley is located in the medulla. And the medulla has a medullary gradient, meaning the deeper you go in the medulla, the more similarity you observe. Now, the loop of Henley has an ascending limb and a descending limb. In the descending limb, you have a lot of aquaporins, so it is permeable to water. So, as the urine goes down the descending limb, more water is absorbed, concentrating the urine. Now, when it moves to the ascending limb, sodium and chlorine is absorbed, which then dilutes the urine. Now, this is known as the countercurrent mechanism. Now, you might be wondering, why concentrate the urine when, at the end of the day, you are still going to dilute the urine? So, this is what we're talking about in importance. First things first, this process helps your body retain water and prevents dehydration by reducing the water in the urine. Secondly, it creates a highly concentrated medulla, allowing the collecting duct to reabsorb more water under ADH control. Now, please don't mistake countercurrent mechanism and countercurrent exchanger. Countercurrent mechanism takes place in the loop of Henle, while countercurrent exchanger takes place in the vessel reactor, which is the blood vessel that follows the loop of Henle. Please, if you enjoyed the video, like and subscribe. It really encourages me to make more. Thank you very much. Bye.